I do need to clarify something, however. I'm not a woman. <laughs> now, that may be stating the obvious, but many times when I speak out against the issues of domestic violence, I'm often asked, yeah, but isn't that strictly a woman's issue? That seems to be a popular misconception because I think domestic violence should be everyone's issue. As a child who was once rescued and raised by his proverbial village, by true champions like each of you in this room, many of them women, I would like to accept this award on their behalf and to name a handful of them without whom I know I wouldn't be standing here in front of you. First, my mother, Olga Rivas, who endured 15 years of domestic terrorism that took place in a level of torture in her home, always throwing herself in the path of the storm to protect her children, and yet managing in her quiet, noble way to give us the values that helped all of her children break the cycle of violence. My eighth grade teacher, my eighth grade teacher who secretly bought me a school cafeteria meal card when my father was starving me, the aptly named Mrs. Rice kept me and my self-esteem alive, Miss Susie Baldwin, my homeroom teacher during my three years of high school, who nurtured a six foot two inch, 220 pound homicidal and suicidal gang member and transformed him into senior class president, scholarship athlete, and contributing member to his community. Yeah. Lillian Echevarria Bethay, who not only allowed me into, the, into her home, but she raised me as one of her kids. To all the women of the National Network to End Domestic Violence and Alianza, who have championed me as a spokesperson. And finally, my wife, Mim Michael Rivas, who encouraged me to, to evolve into the man that I've become and who is my partner in my most important role, a father to my 11-year-old son, Eli, who reminds me every day that if we are sincere about wanting a world that is safe from violence, we need to teach peace in our homes, in our communities, in our nation, and in our world.